Welcome all to the European Docs Office Hours. Uh, today is September 15th. Uh, today on the agenda, we have a few items about blog posts, uh, Google Summer of Code update if Vihan uh, ends up joining us this, this afternoon, um, a quick update for DevOps World since that's coming up soon. And uh, hopefully we get to have a little bit more discussion around Hacktoberfest documentation and what we can do to contribute to that, ideas, et cetera. Uh, so first things first, Mark, uh, do you have any updates on blog posts or any of these items here? Uh, so no progress on the ones that are on mine. So the both and probably no progress for at least another four to six weeks. Sorry. Yeah, that's okay. Makes sense. DevOps world is coming up, Hacktoberfest. we got a lot going on. So Exactly. And uh, there was uh, the, we are also announcing our uh, uh, re-upped sponsorship from uh, DigitalOcean. Uh, I've written a blog post that's been reviewed by the community team, a few other folks, and that will be ready for publish on Monday. Uh, and that is just a big, again, thank you to DigitalOcean for their continued support and sponsorship. Uh, they are allowing us to uh, dedicate ourselves to Jenkins and, and use as many resources as we have. Um, Mark, uh, looks like you might be able to have an update for Google Summer Code for us, actually. Yeah, so the coding phase is complete. Uh, thanks very much to Vihan. He's uh, done. The project has had great results. Very pleased with the outcome. The pipeline steps reference is more readable. As a side effect of the work, not only did the pipeline steps generator get improved, but it exposed to us that the backend extension indexer had a problem. And it's also been improved. So very nice side effects on both sides. Awesome. Thank you so much, Mark. And um, I know he's not here, but thank you again to Vihan for uh, all of the work and, and effort put in for this. It's uh, night and day difference how much uh, an improvement it is and, and just appreciate all of your hard work. Uh, next item on the agenda is DevOps World 2022. It's coming up in a couple of weeks. There's going to be a lot of sessions, talks, workshops. Uh, it's a great community event, so perfect opportunity to connect and meet people that maybe you've only spoken with online. Uh, there's going to be a workshop that um, Mark, Bruno, and Jean-Marc are going to be doing about adopting and modernizing a plugin, which will then make its way into the Jenkins documentation itself. So that will be available for everyone um, after the fact. It does not you, Just because you're not going to DevOps world doesn't mean you miss out on it. Uh, there will also be a contributor summit on the second day, which is the 27th, if I'm not mistaken. And uh, that's for any contributors to Jenkins. So if you are attending, keep that in mind, feel free to go, it'll be a fun time. And again, you get to meet everyone that you've worked with online in Jenkins. Um, Mark, before we move on to Hacktoberfest, did you have anything else for DevOps World 2022? Uh, or just the, uh, the pull request that's still in draft, I hope mm -hmm. will be out of draft today so that we can we can say yes it's it's ready to go it needs a relatively few minor tweaks and certainly we can then extend it later but i've been asked in asia office hours multiple times mark when are you going to merge that that pull request and i would love before asia office hours later later today or about 12 hours from now that this that's merged and visible so i can show it to them and say look i did it finally sounds like a good plan i like it and uh, yeah, hopefully that is uh, good enough that they are excited to see it finally ready for review and open. Cool. All right. Uh, so then the last thing that I, we have on the agenda today is just talking about Hacktoberfest. It's coming up. We all know that it's a few weeks away, just after DevOps World 2022. Uh, the site went live last week, so that's now uh, available. And uh, describes all the different items and, and topics that are included in Hacktoberfest. Uh, and we've also gone through and updated our own documentation page in Jenkins to reflect uh, the updated in general participation options and things like different issues and where to find problems or items to take on. Uh, there's more information here as far as migrating the plugins and just in general, uh, uh, an ad advancement in the uh, information that we have available for anyone that's going to be participating in Hacktoberfest. Special thanks to Mark for updating that page and including all of that. Looks great. 
Um, and we are talking about this as much as possible outside of Doc's office hours as well. Uh, I'm sharing it with as many people as possible, trying to get as much interest as we can. Uh, it's a great opportunity to, again, make community connections and empower the community and make it so that people who have never worked on Jenkins have the uh, chance to experience it and get, uh, get a bit more familiar with it. Uh, we have uh, a couple lists of documentation tasks that would be do, uh, perfectly doable for Hacktoberfest. We have some good first issues. Uh, these are all minor issues that do not require Jenkins knowledge. And we have some other issues that would be listed uh, under our Hacktoberfest filter. And these ones uh, do require a little bit of Jenkins experience, but are still uh, typically a little bit lower impact or low. Um, Light, lighter weight in terms of what they're looking for and so, we'll be able to or go ahead mark and kevin i realized i had used the labels backwards from how the hacktoberfest organizers asked that they be used okay so so hacktoberfest label is applied to everything that's eligible for hacktoberfest anything we recommend whether skills needed or not good first issue is the one mm -hmm. that is flagging but they are also flagged with Hacktoberfest. So the problem is if you if you only look at Hacktoberfest, you'll also see good first issues. That's okay. It's just people need to be aware that sometimes something's flagged as Hacktoberfest that is not a good first issue. This is now compliant with the Hacktoberfest guidelines. Awesome. Fantastic. So then the list of good issues or good first issues is the only list we're going to need then? Or should no. we still well? Or if you've got Jenkins experience, the right. Hacktoberfest list is good. If you don't have Jenkins experience, the good first issues list is the choice. So it's okay. it's the, the definition that's listed there still holds. I just had to change things a little bit. Ah, okay, got it, got it, got it. Thank you very much, Mark, for explaining. That helps clarify things. And uh, yeah, now we know. Um, and uh, if anything too, we do need some volunteers to go through our open issues and uh, open issues. And if there are any, items that they can recommend, this is a great place to do so. Um, you can see that some of them do not have the Hacktoberfest tag. So uh, some of these are gonna be a little bit more involved again, but uh, anything that comes up as uh, potential, uh, we wanna make sure that it's included. Um, we're also gonna take, when we do go through that, we're gonna look at closing some issues that are resolved or no longer applicable uh, and uh, we'll do that in Doc's office hours uh, today, the next couple of weeks, et cetera, until we get to Hacktoberfest. Uh, and then a couple of the ideas uh, that have been uh, additionally put on here, uh, the plugin, document plugin documentation migration from GitHub or to GitHub. Uh, the plugin documentation for the, pl the plugins documentation is uh, now being directed uh, from GitHub. Uh, previously, it was on a wiki that's now read only and closed out. So we have to migrate the docs. Um, the migration is uh, not as involved Jenkins experience, but um, do need to know about working through Git and making pull requests and whatnot to make sure that that's all uh, transferred properly. Um, Darren and Mark have a video demo of doing such thing. So there is a lot of information out there and we will have um, office hours and uh, there will be live streams for Hacktoberfest as we go through the month of October. So there'll be lots of opportunity to continue to ask questions, learn and uh, get assistance with anything that you might be working on. Um, as far as the plugin documentation goes, we are hoping or looking that the First choice for this option would be ones that are uh, currently owned or maintained by Mark, Jean-Marc or Bruno, because uh, we know we can get to them and talk to them and work with them instead of having to worry if the maintainer is no longer paying attention to the plugin. Uh, those ones are gonna be easiest to change and, and move. And so uh, as we get closer, Mark, Jean-Marc and Bruno will be able to assist with all that. Um, the second choice for the plugins would be if we can ask the maintainers to review, uh, but we are only doing so if the maintainer is actually available and agrees to do so. Uh, otherwise, it wouldn't be a great uh, experience of trying to submit changes to someone who's not responding. Uh, the only issue with submitting it to the maintainers is that 
again, it's communication line and we need to make sure that that line is open. If it's not open, if there's something happening where the maintainer can't respond or react to any of the pull requests, uh, then we've done the work and we've tried our best, but unfortunately uh, that change might not be able to get enacted if uh, someone's not responding. So um, best thing you can do is ask, find out. Uh, the maintainers are listed in each GitHub repository for the plugins and on the plugin page in Jenkins.io. So you can always find out who's available. And if not, it might be up for adoption. And that's a wonderful time to check it out and see if you're interested in that. Um, I did just do it recently myself, so it's not that bad. Uh, and I'm a writer, so yeah. Uh, and then there, um, the, we there had been discussions on general documentation uh, migration to GitHub, but this is not the best idea. It's not going to be the most conducive for new contributors, and there's a handful that are stalled and, and aren't being. Um, moved right now because of the amount of work and uh, just in general administrative tasks that require that required for it. Um, yeah, and the improved plugin developer tutorial uh, also includes the docs migration page. So again, that will also be part of the plugin adoption tutorial and workshop that is presented at DevOps World. Now, before we go to the good first issues or open issues list, uh, did anyone have anything else they'd like to point out, share, mention about Hacktoberfest? So on the plugin documentation migration, mm -hmm. it's really healthy for people to help us with that. You noted the complication. The complication is finding maintainers who are willing to willing to review. And so now I'm not sure. One of the challenges for me is how do we show the list I get, well, actually, I take it back. I know how we show the list. The Hacktoberfest project tells us how we do it. We ask people to remove the Hacktoberfest topic from their plugin if they're not willing to review Hacktoberfest pull requests. That way, people know not to submit it. So, uh, sorry, I, here I am talking to myself, but I, I think I've realized this has a simple solution. We follow the rules that the Hacktoberfest definers have said and tell people, please, if you're not willing to process a Hacktoberfest pull request for documentation or otherwise, remove the Hacktoberfest topic from your repository. Good. Right. That, okay. Yeah, that, that all makes that's sense. That's nice and simple. Yeah, following the rules, who would have thunk? Right, okay. But yeah, no, awesome, fantastic. Thank you so much, Mark, again, for adding and clarifying that. That helps a lot. Um, and yeah, I, we really want to make sure that Hectoberfest is the next experience possible for whoever wants to participate. So uh, if we can follow these guidelines as closely as possible, that's just going to help uh, make ha make that mark. So, and um, yeah, Mark, did you want, so should we go into the open issues list and start taking a look at some of these items? Or? I think we should. Unfortunately, I suspect, well, could you open that open issues list and let's see if you have permissions to add a label. So pick pick any one of these. Anchor links no longer work on blog posts. Over on the right hand side, are you allowed to add the label? Yeah. Yep. Okay, good. Sure so can. as a triage, you can. Now you need to take it off. Yep. But but great. So we can have you do this. Perfect. I wasn't sure if if the permissions for that were limited to copy editors, but as a triage, a member of the triage team, you've got it. Good. So let's let's do this thing. And okay. So last time we started from the front, I propose we take a different approach this time. Let's start from the back. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So yeah. So oldest one here is from 2017. It looks like. Yeah. Okay. So and I just want to stare at these for a little bit. So just hold the screen still and okay. let's ask everybody. Please stare at them. And when you see one you think is a is a Hacktoberfest candidate, raise your hand <laughs> or say something. Oh, there you go. I think fix the mailing list page, top second from the top, mm -hmm. is probably Hacktoberfest if it's not already resolved. Okay, pressing the link, whoops, go up. Pressing the link, how to ask questions the smart way. Oh, nope, okay, this one, there is no way to solve it. Ah, okay. Okay. 
because I remember this one. So let's just go ahead and close it. So, okay. so um, yeah, can you close it? You can. So close as not planned. The problem here is to tell the story. This links to a web page, and in the modern world, we all expect expect web pages to be SSL secured. This mm -hmm. particular web page is so old that it is not SSL secured, and it will probably never be SSL secured because the writers just didn't care if you didn't trust them or not. And, and it's a very practical approach that they took. It's, this is very unique, very much distinct. So victory there. Now you can close this tab, right. Kevin, and we can go back to sure. the list again. All right, sounds great. Oh, hey, there's there's an interesting one. Somebody who wants to do JavaScript or wants to do um, make a web page look better, the rework the roadmap coloring scheme. Yeah, I think this one would be would be worthwhile to do a to give it a Hacktoberfest link. This this is something people it's it's not simple. You have to understand how this thing is generated. I wouldn't make it a good first issue, but I think it's a valid Hacktoberfest issue because it's it's a look and feel thing. This is this is the kind of thing that Vihan did so brilliantly, right? Find mm -hmm. places where the website would be better if we did this or that thing. Right, right. Got it. All right. So then we've made that part of the Hacktoberfest tag. So uh, is there any other context or anything we should add, Mark, or is that uh, nope. take care of it for whatever? No, the Oleg's description here is is really great. Okay. Wonderful. Thank you very much. There's a lot of wiki migration tags as we're right up and, on and, and those we can ignore right because wiki migration is i know is not a good fit for hectoberfest mm -hmm. interesting is there a way to ask for github to remove things from this result which include a, a particular label can you say things that don't have the label uh that's okay uh, oh oh is not try it uh, no. Okay. At least you tried. Right. <laughs> yeah. Uh, if you click on skills. filters, do you have anything that you could add, Kevin? Uh, oh, no, oh, right. You never know. Uh, advanced search syntax, maybe. Yep. Oh, okay. Oh. Mm -hmm. Is in. No, okay. By label, label. Uh, yes, okay. Ah, okay. Go to search first. Ah, that's if you want to find the label, or if you don't want to find. If you do, <laughs> oh. okay. Maybe not then. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it seems like we can find it if we wanted to figure out uh, only wiki migration ones, but doesn't seem the inverse is possible yeah. necessarily. Oh, Can't we just Put the shebang in front of something. So an exclamation mark. Yeah, an exclamation ah, okay. point. Sorry. Okay. Don't know where so this then, term comes from. <laughs> so then, or it would, no, it would be label. Uh, I would have put the uh, exclamation mark before label, maybe. Oh, OK. Just a wide guess. I have no idea what I'm doing, but okay. I don't either, Bruno. Thank you for all of your assistance. That, that's okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. Now you got to go back to the end of the list. Yep. yep. All right. Okay. So. Yeah, could you yeah, open that... 31, 34, the valid how-to guides link for yeah. the testing page? I'm not sure what. 
Okay, problem. Okay, whoops. All right, so, so keep scrolling downwards. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Is it still broken? Okay, now, okay, so let's, let's, so scroll up. So the, you see the problem with testing. Mm -hmm. So open that page. And now on the how to guides under manual testing header. So about two thirds of the way down the page, left side. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that. It's definitely not broken. Yep. It leads to something. Yeah, so that, that issue is resolved. Okay. So then can just close I it just as close completed. It. Yeah, it's right. done. Great. And there we go. Perfect. Okay. Go back to the next page since that takes care of everything there. Um, Open that, um, whoops, whoops, open, build a Python app with, Py so 3251, build okay. a Python app. I think that's working. I've run it multiple times. Okay. Okay, so let me, let me see what they're saying there. Okay, Jenkins, Jenkins, documentation, tutorials. Uh, build a Python app with Py installer. Okay, add to final delivery stage. Okay, it says, first sentence me. This unstash step. Okay. Is there step? The first sentence ends at stash, and then afterwards it's a fragment, maybe? I don't know. I don't see it as a fragment when I look at the page mm -hmm. online. Open up the oh. open up the yeah, open up the hyperlink. Scroll mm -hmm. down now, Kevin. Mm -hmm. And it's quite a way. Whoa, right there. It's oh. item three in the annotated. Let's keep going up. Okay up right there okay so it says the final program will be created in that directory by pi installer something this unstash step of the basics what is the oh no okay so four is the unstash three is the dir oh that looks correct to me and I then think i think this might be what's happening mark um oh this oh, weirdly this broken bug. image piece yeah. bug right exactly okay good thank you so there is a bug could you capture a picture of that or mm -hmm. uh, you know what i can do it kevin we don't need to make take time in the meeting that's right, that's still all oh, good okay that's still a bug and okay. so it stays open and that's a good first issue yeah definitely Wonderful. And then let's put that here real quickly. Yeah. I might have to fix that, but I'll check it after our meeting's over. Okay. Okay. Uh, da, da, da. Open up number 3335, broken links. Mm -hmm. If there are still broken links, that's certainly something that is worth putting, putting on the Hacktoberfest list. Okay. Uh, there we go. Okay, this one is very much a 
a good first issue. Okay. Vlad ran this report for us. Mm -hmm. And so no reason not to include it in the list and let people make progress. Could you also, Kevin, while you're there, see if you can remove Vrushti Modi as the assignee. Oh, yeah, no problem. Vrushti is certainly no longer working on it. Okay. All set. Good. Okay. okay, open up um, 3340 issue reporting page. Okay. Oh, no. Okay. This is too complicated for Hectoberfest. Okay. It's, it's a good one, but it's too complicated for Hectoberfest. <laughs> Having someone who doesn't do regular issue reporting try to describe the issue reporting process is a recipe for failure. Yeah, this doesn't sound too fun for whoever would try to do it. Okay. Uh, content. This one here, Mark, it's content duplication. Yeah, and that uh, one that one is complicated enough. I wouldn't put it on first time ah. users because okay. we can't break existing hyperlinks. And so in order to, to deduplicate content, we really have a lot more work that has to be done than I would put on a first time contributor. Okay. Sounds good. And yeah, so I, that's not... I think we're ready to try one page before this one. All right. Okay, could you open the three, five, eight, three? no, no, forget it. Nothing, nothing. That's too complicated for, for a first time contributor. I saw that I was thinking about it too. And then I realized I had to do Docker yeah. stuff and it's not easy. Right. And that's something I should tackle with, by the way. <laughs> so. Right, that is, that, yeah, that's that's very much unwise. Okay. Okay. Oh, oh, open three, six, four, five. Three, six, four, five. Uh, open Liberty profile thing. Mm -hmm. It's a wiki page. Oh, no, this is wiki migration. So could you, could you, while you're there, oh. label this wiki migration? Yep. All right, and we've only got two minutes left before we're out of time. So, okay. Yeah, we can continue going through this uh, in the next couple of weeks. That's not a problem. Mm -hmm. So, and I know that there's already, yeah, there's a couple that are, are definitely getting listed here, which is good. And a lot of these are, yeah, wiki migration, it looks like. Yep. Let's, yeah. Well, we, we made progress. The yeah. list is a little bit smaller, and every time we make it a little bit smaller, that's a victory. Mm -hmm. And that's all that matters. And we did it. And so uh, as Oktoberfest approaches, we get a little closer to having a right, the right list. So exciting. Yay. Great. Uh, so then I think, unless anyone has anything else, I think that we can call it for today. That should cover everything. Okay, so uh, the uh, we'll stop the recording. It will be available online uh, in the next twenty-four to forty-eight hours.